Hey everybody, thought I would throw out a couple of nuggets here for you before we get into slow and fast motion that will help in that tutorial and uh, from here on out. So first thing we're going to look at is clips just because I'm going to be using those and I may as well tell you about them. Uh, so we have made a selection here of a section that we want to use. Instead of pasting it into our timeline as a splice, we are going to go to clip. And here we see the clip window. We can call it whatever we want. I'm just going to go ahead and call it clip one. It says how long it is, what project it's in. And we click OK. I'm going to go on to our next clip. And let's say we want to blow, blow, blow right about there. It looks good. No way. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> and we're going to go there. And again, to clip. This one is going to be called clip 2. Tell it OK. This is really good if you have a whole lot of little edits and you know what sections you want to use, but you're not quite sure what order you want to put them in. Also, it's good for you if you uh, have one long thing and you want to be working with several different sections as if they were different media. So let's go to our last one. And let's say we want the boys bouncing on here. That's about good. That shall be clip three. Okay, now that we have the clips, we're going to jump back to keyframes for a minute. I'm going to show you how to do manual fades, and I'm going to show you how these can be especially handy. You've seen them with audio, and let's show you some with video. So what we want to do here is remember that the uh, tracks stack. Oops. So we want to enable the tracks that we're going to work with. I'm going to go with audio 3 and 4 because we want to separate the audio because we are going to be working with two different clips. And then we're going to go up here. And I want this video to be on top so it will be masking whatever is going on on video 1. Or it will become transparent if we bring down the fader like that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go over to our clips. We're going to take clip one. We're going to right click and paste. Now it's in our timeline. Now then, let's say I want to I'll move this to eight seconds at a time so that we can do a two second fade. So it would be 16 seconds to 18 seconds. We're going to go right here. We're going to turn on our keyframes. And that's where it's going to start. So we're going to go over here. We're going to bump our fader down a little bit. Ignore this message that that clip generates because it's meaningless. And we're going to move this back up to 100 so that it records an event here and keeps it at 100. We're going to go to where we want the fade to stop, which is going to be right here at the end of it. Let's just go ahead and wait till it turns into the arrow. At that point, we are going to have our fader all the way down to zero. And now, you see, we have generated an S-curve. But we don't want an S-curve. We want a nice even fade as if we were pulling the fader down in the studio. So what we are going to do now is take a look at view. In order to do what we are about to do, you need to be able to see the curve that you have just created. In this case, it is a fade. So there's fade checked. If it was camera pan, projector pan, uh, you would have to make sure those are checked because it's not going to affect anything that is not displayed. So we've done that. We're going to highlight this section where our keyframes are. We are going to go to keyframes 
and we are going to straighten curves. We go over here, now we have a straight line. And no, I don't know what this mess is all about. <clears throat> but that is a straight line. Now what we have... is a fade. And since there's nothing underneath it, it's simply a fade to black. That's how you can fade in and out manually. But what we want to do is have this fade to another track. So, we're going to go over here to clip 2. We want to insert clip 2 right here at our keyframe where the fade begins. So we put our cursor here and highlight it. Now there is audio on it. So we're going to uncheck the track that we just worked with, video 2. And remember, this is going to be revealing the track underneath. So we are going to enable track 1 video. We have already put the audio here, so we don't want to override that. And if you want to, you can go back and do the exact same thing for the audio. But we're not going to do that right here because this is just for demonstrating purposes. And I'm going to turn down the volume because this is going to blow your ears off if I don't. All right, we've got our tracks enabled. Right click on clip 2 paste and there it is in our timeline okay now in certain situations you you, you might want to do this as in I'm going to show you in the next tutorial so we don't have to affect this because the top track is fading out revealing what is underneath it so when we play this back what we've got is a nice little crossfade into the next clip. So, keep this stuff in mind, mess around with some of those on your own, and the next tutorial is going to be showing you how to do fast and slow motion, and even to do some transitions through there using the techniques we just saw. Have a good one, and I will see you again soon.